hello guys welcome to this demonstration today i will show you step by step how to build a cryptocurrency investment website and host it on aws live so this site is built with django uh, django is a popular web development framework used in very big corporations like instagram it is also used in spotify and upwork so django is very secure and it is used by big corporations because of its security and also its ease of use so uh, before we get started i will first of all show you all the amazing features of the site all the features that are built in and the design principles of this site you will see your life what the site is going to look like by the time we take it on a live server so let's get started right here is the home page as you can see this particular project is hosted on my local machine this is actually my a local server it's just on my computer you can't access it anywhere but by the time we are done with this demonstration you will see how you can host this code by yourself on a live server so that anyone anywhere in the world can access the can access your site so right here is the home page as you can see this have a very nice color combination it's yellow white and black and it's a total fit here right here is a rotating wheel animation quite a complex one but it really looks nice and renders well now as you can see um right here is just the basics of whatever site you have the about section i won't bother more to explain all the sessions as they are just basics that that's always there in every site so i will quickly go over the sessions without much explanation as you can see there is padding there is enough padding and to uh, segment each, uh, each section of the site and make it look nice and also there's a lot of animations used in the site to make it look appealing to your get your clients yeah when your clients to your site they know it's standard because it's, it's quite thought out and well designed so as you can see this is benefits of our solution yeah and each section is quite segmented to be on its own and it looks really nice this is our mission so over here is the eight drop section right here you can host eight drops and set it up in such a way that this is a countdown and it's going to be counting down to the day of your eight drop right here there are three tires you can actually set up different amounts you want to specify each tire of the investment platform so you by the time we are done by the time we are done with this demonstration i will also show you how you can set this thing up so that it's going to be counting down live this is a roadmap with a, an animation on the background as you can see it looks really nice on the dark background right here is the news section this is a news aggregator built directly into this site you don't have to uh, bother about updating the news it is quite automated and your site is always up to date with the latest news in the cryptocurrency ecosystem um this is the partnership session you can add as many links as you want so that your users and your clients can buy cryptocurrency directly from the chosen exchange you have you have put on this section so you can add as many links right here and let your users and give your users make it easy for your users to discover exchanges where they can purchase their cryptocurrency and use your site website right here is the footer as you can see yeah it's have a very nice nice fonts okay i will go over it in the beginning and show you the procedures on how to log into this beautiful website and also this is a window to the dashboard so you can see how nice dashboard looks so right now i'm logging into the website this is the login page i will quickly enter my login details okay this is the dashboard okay right here is the overview of the dashboard as you can see i have one in my wallet thirty thirty dollars i have one investment zero withdrawals and zero downlines this is a qr code for your referral link you can either copy the link or let your users if they're in person they can scan this qr code and register on your site this is the activity starts this is the recent investment of the user as you can see i have already i have already made one investment this is a progress bar showing you how far the investments have gone and the progress of the investment 
uh, we quickly go over all the sections of this dashboard right here is your wallet showing you the different balances you have in each section of your wallet this is the total amount you have in your wallet this is the sports wallet this is the active the um, amount in your wallet that is currently running and this is the sport your sport balance is the amount you can withdraw at any moment in time then this is your bonus balance as you can see over here is a chart this is a chart showing you how your activities on the site is going you can monitor the deposits and see it clearly on the chart now the next section is the deposit section where you can make payments into the website and into the company as you can see it still shows you how much you have in your wallet and how much that is currently available for withdrawal so you can actually select any of the cryptocurrency networks to make payments with yeah, as you can see we have up to four payment networks here but that is not all the admin can configure it to have as many payment options as they want i'll also show you how to do that how to configure the site to have more payment options if you want to pay with trx if you want to pay with solana it is all provided for you can go to over to the admin dashboard and configure all of those things so the next section is the withdrawal session which looks quite similar to the deposit session in design so you can see you can select the wallet address you want to withdraw it to. you can choose the wallet address and enter the amount then you proceed with your withdrawal the next session is the investment session which shows you all the investments you have made like i said earlier i have already made one in the investment in this platform you can see the progress by showing me the progress of my investment and it's already completed it was made a month and three weeks ago then it is in a starter package okay the next session is the withdrawal section okay as you can see i have not made any withdrawals yet but when i do they are going to show up on this section the next section right here is the transactions and the referral section okay this referral page shows you a qr code where users can refer each other yeah they, yeah they have the opportunity they can copy this link right here and share with your friends and other people and then they can also let their users see their in person scan this qr code and register in your site as you can see they can claim their bonus after they have referred uh, their friend or any other person they have, can come here and claim their bonus which they have earned from your referral bonus so that is it for the uh, dashboard as you can see it is quite thought out it is well designed and the color is just looks everything looks nice okay right here is the right menu here here you can go to your profile you can set up your default currency and all that things but what i want to go now is the admin dashboard this link right here is not there in every page i mean it's only there for the admin to see yes i can see this link because i'm an admin in this dash in this site i have made myself an admin so right here in the admin session when i go over to the admin dashboard okay as you can see this is the admin dashboard right here um these are the sections of the dashboard this dashboard is only accessible to the admin this is a place where the admin comes to manage the site manage users monitor users the activities of the site and then set up all that things up as you can see this is the overview page it's a chat showing you the different activities which is being carried out on the site then this is place to view your profiles then we have investment section the withdrawal section the deposits request withdrawal request transactions and messages this message session is important this is a place where you can send email to your clients you can send email to each of your users in your site yeah you can actually email all your users at the same time it's actually on the go so this is uh, it in the admin dashboard this is the advanced section uh, it's actually a built-in dashboard from django where you can keep into your your database directly and manage it you can actually edit all that part of the site here and set it up as you can see right here is the comments the frequently asked questions you can customize it this is the message you have gotten from the site people's testimonies email addresses and other things so right here i'm going back to the main page 
okay so this is it for the site now i'm going to show you how we can push the, configure the site and launch it on a live server so that other people can access it and make use of your website i'm going to use a popular web service known as aws to set up this site aws is a web hosting platform it's unlike um other shared hosting platforms like nemty these people they give you a full blood server to manage so right here i'm going to log into the server and you will see how i configured the site to launch my own server okay i'm now entering my details as you can see right here is the aws dashboard I already have one instance of server running uh, so we are going to go ahead now and create a new server yeah you might be unfamiliar with what is going on here because this is a cloud hosting platform it's not like other um, hosting shared hosting platform like Namecheap and uh, Bluehost where you technically upload code and then you configure the cPanel and the size fronts this one requires a little bit of skills but it's not something it's not rocket science it's learnable and it's not difficult i want to show you everything that you need to know to use this platform to launch your code so as you can see right here there's a button on the top right saying launch instances this is a place where we can create a new instance of a server a server is like um, a little pod that contains an application which we are going to run so we are going to create a server right now which is an instance we are going to create an instance right now to configure our server as you can see aws is a big platform it doesn't waste your time it is easy to use as most so i'm going to call my server platinum and then i'm going to select ubuntu as my os of choice then i go over the setup one by one and right here is the key pay i'm going to select platinum or we can create another one so right here is the key pay you can select it you can select a default key pay or you can create a new one right here this key pay is like a password which will give you access to this server that you are about to create so we go ahead now and save our key pay on our system and then we go ahead and, con and configure the network settings yeah important thing to note here is this particular check mark check boxes that we need to turn both of them on right now so by just turning this thing on now you can now actually run your server without having to consider configure your security group separately um, and uh, there are only a few other options we can check we can increase our storage size but we can leave it at 8 gig will be enough for this project so we leave it like that and right here we click on launch instance and as you can see the instance is launching now we are about to go live boom we already have a server running now we have created a server we can set up billing alerts and other things but right now we are not going to do that we are going to focus on taking our server live so i'm going to go back to view all other instances as you can see in the instance state we have this our new application is still pending they are trying to put up the server so it is still pending and we have to wait so i'm going to pause this video as we wait for this uh, okay as you can see right here we have had our our new server is running so it is ready to use what we have to do now is to bring our code into the server and set it up correctly for us to run it now to bring our code into the server there's no first, there's no place where we can upload code by clicking a button we have to connect to our instance through a secure shell a secure shell is a safe way to connect to a remote instance or a remote server securely so we are going to use secure shell to connect to this instance using our private uh, using our key pay so i'm going to go back to my system where i can access the server and configure it correctly so guys once our server is live what we have to do is log into the server with the key pay that we saved earlier on when we created our server 
once we onto our server we pull our code from github repository i have already pulled this code to github so once we are onto our server we pull our code and then we spin up the docker containers containing our code and then our site will be live so i'm right now i'm going to use the key pay that generated earlier on to log into the server as you can see i'm logging in to the server with this ip address username remains you going to so once i'm into the server right now i'm going to create a, a directory and clone i'm going to go into the directory with my code base once i'm into this server right now i'm going to go into this directory right here and put and pull my code from github yeah i will pull my code from github if you have not done this thing before don't have to worry there's a lot of things there's a lot of tutorials out there that teach you how to use github to load your code okay as you can see my code is now up to date so i'm going to go ahead and spin up my containers and you will see my server running live so i'm going to, to go ahead and say docker compose okay. okay as you can see all those services are now running we have now have all of our containers running so if we, if we check our logs now you will see that our server is running and listening for requests you can go ahead and say yeah this is our logs right now so in that our server is running so we can now log in out of our server we'll go to our browser to see our site running live so, like i said earlier on the domain for the site is platinum.preview.jxlive.com so voila as you can see guys our site is now running live and you can see we now have our site on a domain on a public domain where you can see view it from your mobile phone or with any device at all so we now have our site live so guys in this demonstration we have shown how you can build your own cryptocurrency investment platform with django and take it to production if you have any question about setting up this server you can indicate in the comment section thanks for watching